Hey guys, um, I am finally getting around to doing my summer products favorites video. Um, I meant to do this a few weeks ago, um, but just life, you know, being a single mom, I don't really have an opportunity to do videos all the time because I'm constantly having my little one running around and I hear him right now. <laughs> um, so um, also I had started filming this um, last week and for some reason my laptop decided it, that it didn't like the first half of my video and it corrupted the file and removed it. Why? I have no idea. Um, so I'm having to now re-record the first half of this video. Um, I had my special guest join me the first time around. Um, silly enough, I know it's actually my ex-husband. Him and I have a weird relationship. We're pretty much besties. Um, we didn't used to be that way. It's strange. Whenever we're around each other, we get really, really goofy. Um, we're just weirdos. <laughs> and so um, forgive me in advance, please, for being a little distracted and goofy and awkward during the second half of this video from that I uh, did last week with him. He was kind of my little assistant uh, helping me out with the video and we were a little <laughs> goofy because <laughs> sometimes him and I just woo. But anyway, so let's get started. The first product um, that I'm loving right now this summer um, is the Andalou Naturals Aloe and Willow Bark Pore Minimizer. This stuff is kind of like a toner. Um, just get a cotton ball and dab it like on your nose and around your face. Um, my pores are like the size of planets. <laughs> um, and this has been helping me quite a bit to help shrink my pores. And it makes your skin feel super clean. It kind of smells minty. It's got, I think it has like maybe some peppermint oil or, or something in it. It's um, the aloe, maybe, the willow bark. Anyway, um, so it makes your skin feel really clean and fresh and it kind of smells like toothpaste. <laughs> so it makes your skin all nice and clean um, from Andalou Naturals and it's from their clarifying line. So I would try that. Also to help with shiny places, I have to shake this up because the stuff settles like at the bottom of here and it makes it all goopy so you have to like shake it up. But this is the Origins Zero Oil Instant Mate Finish. Um, you also kind of use it like a toner. You just uh, shake it up really well and then you dab it in your shiny places and it helps to mattify your skin because I have really oily skin. Um, and I have to constantly touch up my powder throughout the day and this kind of helps the sun is like behind me again. I hate sitting here because the sun is like right behind me. Um, anyway, so oops, that's more like it. Anyway, this is good stuff. Anyway, Origins uh, Zero Oil. And for deodorant, yes, I'm showing you deodorant. Um, this is the Nature Love Harmonious Wellbeing Natural Deodorant in the Lemongrass. Um, I've been using all natural deodorant for a while now um, because traditional deodorant is filled with aluminum and parabens and artificial fragrances um, with things that are really unsafe for your body. So using an organic all natural alternative deodorant is a really good idea. Um, I've tried so many different um, all natural brands of deodorant and none of them have really worked for me. I don't know why. I guess just because they're all just natural. It's, they don't really do a whole lot. Um, but this brand is the first like kind that I've tried that has really worked and actually done its job. Um, I found it at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure if there's like a website um, that you can go and find this at. I don't see anything on here. Um, but it's Nature Love. It's organic natural deodorant. It smells really good. It's a lemongrass scent. It smells really good. And it works. So... Switch to an all-natural deodorant. This is a good product. I love this stuff. This is the Deep Steep Argan Oil Sugar Scrub. I just used this in the shower this morning. I love it. It's a really good um, exfoliator. It's like to really polish up your body for summertime when you're wearing shorts and tank tops and that kind of thing. It's um, all organic and natural. And it's the uh, Mango Papaya Smell. Oh my god, <laughs> that smells so good. It kind of smells like a tropical smoothie. I wish you guys could smell it. I'll be like, here, smell. 
which is what it looks like in the sugar scrub. Um, just use it in the shower and scrub up and rinse it off and you'll smell lovely and you'll feel lovely and be all ready for your summer wardrobe out in the sun. So look it up and get some. Also for your body is the Everyone Body Oil. Um, it's the Nourish Body Oil. They have three or four different kinds. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, the Nourish. It's body oil. It is made with sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, fruit palm oil, kernel oils, and essential oils, lavender, orange, and vitamin E. It smells pretty good. It only has um, a slight fragrance, but it's a really great body oil for like right after the shower, after you shave. Um, I use it to kind of help rub, trying to rub away the stretch marks and things like that. I really love like their packaging. It's really awesome. This stuff is all organic, natural, cruelty free. Um, on the back right here, it says stay beautiful, hashtag love everyone. So I love this stuff. They have really great products. So look up the Everyone Eco brand. Good stuff right there. Last but not least here, another thing I'm obsessing over is the Giovanni Frizz Be Gone Hair Serum. This stuff smells like the greatest thing you've ever smelled to go on your hair. Um, you can use it right out of the shower, on your dry hair, before and after you style. Um, heat protecting and smoothing with the frizzies and makes your hair soft and shiny and it smells so good. Like every time I put it in my hair, like my my hands are smelling like amazing. So I'm like constantly smelling my hands and like walking up to people and be like, smell my fingers. <laughs> Cause I'm a dork like that. Yeah. So the Giovanni Frisbee Gone a Hair Syrup. Great stuff. And that's it for this first half. Um, here begins the second half where I go into my makeup and me being a little goofy. So, Thanks guys for sticking around, watch this, well, enjoy the rest of this video, um, and uh, there we have it. <laughs> okay, sorry for the interruption by my father. And this dude over here is complaining that most of my makeup is all from Tarte. Well, of course it is. It's like my favorite makeup brand. So on that note, it's summer makeup time. So this is a new lipstick from Tarte, of course. It's the um, Amazonian Clay Butter Stick in Rich Coral. In Rich Bold Coral, the uh, Glamazon Pure Performance Butter Stick Lip Color. It's in a really pretty coral color. It's really dark. It's much darker than it looks. So it looks like a very nude coral color, but it's actually really dark. So I only put a tiny bit on. Next, this is also from Tarte, the Brazilian Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Face and Body Self Tanner. That was really fancy schmancy. <laughs> really good tanner. You can use it all over your body. And it's a really like universal color. So whatever your skin tone, this is probably going to work for you. Again, from Tarte, like with this light, you can see my face really well, but it's kind of Blurring. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Next, also from Tarte. This is the Miracuja Blush and Go Brightening Illuminizer and Cheek. I featured this in my spring video. It comes with a little like roller ball thing on the end of it. That also has um this stuff inside, but it's a little bit darker. So you can use that like on your cheeks and this is kind of what I use for like all over body like I put I put it right here on my cheeks you can kind of see it's all shiny and glimmery and pretty right here this is what I used I also put a little bit on my neck and shoulders to make it a little bit glimmery and kind of bronzy so it's really great for face and body and the little roller ball that it comes with which I don't know where that is at the moment I think it's in my purse actually um, it's really good for um, using with the actual blush but this stuff is awesome. This comes in a few different colors. I'm not sure which color this one is in, but this is the lightest color that it comes in. Um, I think there's two other shades that are darker. But this one is really good. Um, 
You can probably work on any skin tone, but it's really good. Okay, next. Thank you. From Tarte again. <laughs> I'm getting too excited about this. The Tarte Low Light Amazonian Clay Luminizing Wand. This is a really good illuminizer. It's like a little um, pin and you click it up at the bottom. And I usually apply this in the corner of my eyes and around my eyes and at the top of my cheeks um, for kind of like what they're calling now like the strobing effect, which is really pretty. See, so I have a little bit right here. There's kind of blended out and it's really shiny and pretty. It's a beautiful color. It's just pink. So this is a great product for summer to really help give you glow and luminization with your skin. And this not from Tarte. Oh, we get a break now. <laughs> this is from Josie Marin. It's Argan Oil, Pure Argan Oil Face Balm for skin and lips. It's uh, got a slight tint and color. So you can rub it with your finger, put it on your eyelids, your cheeks, your lips. Um, it's a really uh, light tinted color, but it's very pretty and luminescent, and it's made with pure raw argan oil. So, Josie Marin. It comes in this little portable, whatchamacallit, thingy. From Pacifica, another brand that I'm kind of obsessing over. This is their Natural Minerals Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. So it's kind of like a CC cream and a foundation in one. It's um, SPF 17 Moisture Rich made with coconut water. And it smells really, really good. Kind of smells, I don't know, better than makeup should. <laughs> but I love this brand. It's a really good um Foundation. It's not like full coverage. It's kind of more like a tinted moisturizer kind of type of foundation. Um, but that's what I'm using right now. Yay! Thank you. Okay. And next up, back on Tarte, is another new lipstick that I just got. This is another one of their um, Amazonian clay butter sticks, but it's the smaller version. And I got this in Pink Peony. Um, it looks darker than it actually is. When I put it on, it's kind of more like a really lightly tinted lip balm. Um, I'm wearing this right now. With, um, I'll show you what I'm wearing over it. Um, but it's really, really light color. I thought it was going to be a really rich pink, but it's a really good lipstick. It makes your lips super soft and it has like SPF and vitamins and minerals and good stuff in it. And I love this cute... Oops, little pack, the packaging that's in it is so cute. I love this lipstick. Okay, and next is this is what I'm wearing over the lipstick. It's the Burt Bees Natural Lip Gloss. And this is in the color... It doesn't say a color, but it's kind of a darker color here. It's what I'm wearing over this. <laughs> whatever okay <laughs> you can kind of see yeah duck face okay so that's really good Burt's Bees lip gloss really good stuff right there and is that all? Nope, it's not. <laughs> for a face more of a face Tarte is the Face Sculptor Bronzing uh, Contouring Face Stick Thingy. So it's an actual... Why are you laughing at me? Face Stick, face stick Thingy. So it's an actual stick, and what you do is you would like draw your contouring line. See? Kind of like that. Oh, you know, when I actually do this, I do a much better job at it. Um, you can use your fingers, or actually have a little contouring brush. What are you doing? Are you playing with my makeup? <laughs> but you can kind of blend it, or use the brush. But that's basically how you use this. And um, it comes with a little tutorial guide for you to learn how to use the stick. But I have it in a few places on my face, under your chin. Um, they kind of 
splendorize your nose. I put it around here and kind of in that shape on top of my head. And if you want to know more tips about um, contouring and highlighting and that sort of thing, just ask me and I will do a video on that more properly. But so Tarte Face Contouring Stick. I'm getting like a pile going on over here. And um, for eyes, I have this white eyeliner pencil from NYX. And this is really good for the um, right here, drawing like a V in the corner of your eyes and a little bit um, kind of underneath. Really good for summer eye looks. So from NYX, the white eyeliner pencil. Stay. Also for eyes and from Tarte is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Eye Base. This is just a little sample one that I have. Eventually I will probably go ahead and get the full size. But it's the little wand and you kind of paint some of this on you know your eyelids and the crease and rub it in and then you put your eyeshadow over it so it's um, like a base or a primer for your eyeshadow and it keeps everything in place especially during the summer when you're all sweaty and shiny especially if you have oily skin or your makeup runs easily this is really good to keep your eyeshadow in place so I highly recommend the Tarte eye base cream stuff. Okay. While we're on the eyes, this is a really pretty eyeshadow that I really love right now. It's from Honey Bee Gardens. It's their little pot of pink sparkly eyeshadow. The color is called Angelic. They have a bunch of colors of these, and it's loose shadow. As you can see without spilling this everywhere, it's really sparkly. It's a lot easier to see it on the lid. It's very sparkly. I need the light this time. But thank you. It's really sparkly and I have it right here. I use it under my eyebrows on the top of my lid. And sometimes I put a little bit in the corner and kind of spread it out under my eyes to make everything bright. Now is this the final thing? I don't know. We're getting there guys. I kind of have a big list of stuff right now. This is a little sample I got from Tarte. It's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Fearless. I'm loving this sample. I've like used it to death. It's almost all gone already. But this is a really great blush. And it's long lasting, long wear. I love this color. It's perfect for summer. So I recommend getting this. Um, you can get their samples. And that's how I got this. It's going on tar and ordering samples. Um, so I recommend getting this in full size or just try the sample and see if you like it. I love this blush. Next, uh, so for face, I'm trying to like shake it up because it gets kind of clumpy at the bottom. This is from Origins. It's their Zero Oil Instant Matte Finish for Shiny Place. So I put this over my moisturizer and under my foundation to help keep some of the shiny away because I have really oily, shiny skin, especially in the summer. And this kind of helps to mattify my skin so I can do less touch-ups throughout the day from Origins. I like this little bottle kind of cool but you have to shake it up a lot because it gets all kind of icky at the bottom like it all kind of settles at the bottom so you have to like shake it up a lot but yeah there you go all right we're almost through you guys liking this stuff so far so this is from juice beauty it's the spf 8 lip balm and naturally clear i love this lip balm because even though it's clear, like it really accentuates like the natural color of your lips. Like it doesn't hide it. Like it kind of, you know what I mean? Like it, I don't know. It's almost like it's tinted, but it's not. It just makes your natural lips look really good. And it smells good. And my other one apparently smells good too because you're like, okay, let's just show this one. I think I showed this in my spring video, but I really love this. It's the EOS Lip Balm. And I think this is in the pink sherbet uh, flavor. Like I like calling it flavor. But it does smell amazing and it's a really good lip balm. I love these little, whatever you call them, these little balms in these little containers. Very handy this is. Great lip balm. Okay, now is that finished? We're done! High five! Yeah, thanks for being my assistant today.
Yeah, come here and say hello to the peoples. Hi, I'm your kid. Yeah, that's him. Mm -hmm. You made a kid. Beautiful kid. <laughs> Beautiful kid though. Yeah, he's hanging out with me today because we're, you know, we're close still. I don't know. So, yeah, mm -hmm. he's hanging out today and oh, we're yes. going to make some chicken Alfredo and enjoy the rest of this summer day. And, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching this. Oh, please watch my last video that I uploaded, how to make a earring holder out of a picture frame. And you will see these earrings in it. I love these earrings. These are real peacock feathers from an actual peacock that's owned by my friend. My friend lives on a farm. Well, more like a ranch, actually, not really so much a farm. I know why you're smiling, but behave. Um, and she made these. Her name is Kelly Rice. She's part of the Happy Hobbit YouTube uh, kind of phenomenon. They've been on TV. They've been on uh, at Comic-Con. They have a really famous like viral video that was even um, seen by Peter Jackson and Orlando Bloom. If you haven't seen it, go look up Hobbitception on YouTube. Yes, Hobbitception by Happy Hobbit, and you will know who they are. They have awesome videos, and I love them. But my friend Kelly, who's also known as Keely from Happy Hobbit, made these for me herself from her own little peacock on her ranch. And they're very pretty. And I love them. But watch my video about how to make the picture hanger holder thing and everything else for mine. Please subscribe, people. And stay tuned for more videos from me. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. But I'll see you later. Enjoy the lovely decor of my parents' living room. No, we're not in the 70s, I swear. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.